Hi everyone, John Moser again for another edition of Cocktails in Quarantine. Today I want to show you how to make the, the classic drink, the sidecar. Now, the origins of the sidecar are kind of steeped in mystery, and there are two different versions of the story. One of them says that it was invented in this bar, we don't even know what bar. There is at least one place in England and another place in France that both claim to be the originators of the drink. But whichever bar, the story is apparently uh, two guys came in, one, one was riding on a motorcycle, the other was riding in a sidecar. The person in a sidecar order said, you know, make up something for me. They put this drink together and because of this person's mode of transportation, they called it the sidecar. The other version of the story is that sidecar refers to what's left at the bottom of the cocktail shaker after you've poured the drink, that would get dumped in a shot glass and the bartender would knock it back and they would refer to that as a sidecar. Whichever origin story you choose to believe, this is a really good drink. It's got a lot of class to it. Go into a bar and order a sidecar and they'll say, yeah, this is somebody who knows cocktails. Uh, but surprisingly, it's not a terribly difficult drink to make. Let me show you what you'll need. The side, the sidecar, as I say, is not a terribly complicated drink in terms of the contents. Uh, you are going to uh, to need some cognac. Hennessy is fine. You don't need to get terribly fancy. Uh, two ounces of that. By the way, you can make a variant of this drink with bourbon. I love bourbon, um, and uh, but but cognac is the uh, is is the more classic version of it. Uh, Cointreau, about an ounce of that. And Cointreau is fantastic. Uh, and uh, and then uh, juice of maybe half or a whole lemon, three quarters of an ounce is about right. And then you're gonna need some super fine sugar. You don't put the sugar in the drink, you put the sugar around the rim of the uh, of the cocktail glass. And it's one of the thing that, things that really gives this a, a, a classy element. All right, so how do we make? We're gonna start off with our cocktail shaker with ice in it. And uh, because there is fruit juice in this drink, we will want to use the, the shaker instead of stirring it. We've got our cognac Hennessy's, but use whatever kind you like. We are going to hit that up with two ounces. An ounce of the Cointreau. And three quarters of an ounce or thereabouts of lemon. Let's see. Well, I'd say, yeah, I'd say half a lemon does it about perfectly. Now put that in. Close it up and shake. Next, I'm gonna show you how to prepare the glass because that's an important step. So one of the classy things about the sidecar is, uh, is, is the sugar around the rim of the glass. And if you wanna do that, start by Put in some super fine sugar, that works best. Put that on a little plate or a saucer. Then you've got your cocktail glass. Take lemon, whoop, and rub it around the rim. Probably wanna get that seed out of there. All right, not too much, just enough. Put it down in the plate. Keep it around a little bit. See how nice that looks? That's gonna complement the, uh, the cognac and the lemon juice and the Cointreau very well. So we've got the glass, we've got the drink. Take that a little bit more to keep it from settling out. Ah, have a look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. The sour that's going to come from the Cointreau and the, and the lemon juice 
is gonna be counterbalanced by the sweetness of the sugar around the rim. And there's the cognac. This is a really nice drink. You wanna impress someone with your cocktail making skills. Hit them with a, with a, uh, with a sidecar. So that's all for, uh, for this week. I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Mmm, that's good.